last week we talked about this. I asked the question, what is freedom? And we went to Jesus' words in John chapter 8 where he says this. He said, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And we talked about how that truth can set us free and what freedom was. And this week I want to talk about what truth is. Because what exactly is the truth? What is this truth we build our lives upon? What is this rock that is so solid that we can build our lives on and we know that we will not be moved? So in 2016, every year the Oxford Dictionary comes out with what they call the word of the year. And it's a word that, it might not be a brand new word, but it's a word that has come into extensive use and ubiquitously used all around the world. And in 2016, that word was the word post-truth. Now, I'm going to throw the dictionary definition up there, but I'll tell you in short form what it is. Post-truth means this, that people are less interested in the actual truth and facts and more interested in how it affects them emotionally and how they feel will be determined how they've influenced. And what they were pointing out is we had come into the post-truth era where, and you all know post-truth people, they're the ones who say, don't confuse me with the facts, my mind is made up. Right? And we are now living in this post truth culture where people actually don't really care about the truth, sadly to say. And then in 2017, Time Magazine did a piece on it. Theirs was interesting. Here's the cover from it, and I've put it beside the 1966 cover. 1966, Time came out with this, this cover Is God Dead? And in 2017, after the word of the year, they decided, let's ask the question. And they used the same sort of eerie graphics. And they said, is truth dead? And the fact of the matter is, it's not that truth is dead, but the passion and the care for truth is dead. People don't really care about the truth. And you say, what are you talking about? I care about the truth. Well, th th this is what's happened. We have come not only to tolerate untruth, we've come to expect it. We don't, people, we don't expect people to tell us the truth. We don't expect p politicians to tell the truth. We don't expect media to tell us the truth. We don't expect advertisers to tell us the truth. We certainly don't expect to find truth on social media. Whenever people say, well, I know it's true because I read it on the internet. I go, really? You read that on the internet? That has got to be true, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't think I have to explain that, do I? I mean, you know, everything can be made up. You know that 73.9% of statistics are made up right on the spot? <laughs> you, can, you can think about that. So, so the big question is, what is truth? What is truth? So here's where we're going. I got one little verse for you, that's all. And it comes from Psalm 119. And it is so instructive and so powerful and so meaningful and profound that it'd be easy to miss the significance of it. But here it is. Verse 160 says, The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. <laughs> 